Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Vox here. Welcome back to more of the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. It's a little bit dark in here. I could fix that, though. There we go. In the last episode, uh, we uh, made it here to... What was this area called again? Malada Albmaris, uh, Albmaris Hill, this, this particular area of the, uh, of, of this place. We found what the Collector was looking for, and I decided to venture further in here just to see what was going on. Of course, with a light spell. We are probably gonna see our fair share of things that want to kill us. Like heroes and other doodahs. Doodahs. But, uh, yeah, play seems pretty good so far. I'm gonna keep casting illu Ill 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 illusion magic. I bet they made restoration magic harder to level up because you're not gonna be using it as much. You can spam. Oh, can you spam? Let me see where, uh, if I've been, yeah, okay. So far I've been everywhere in here. And there's an exit coming up this way, so. I think I'm good. This place appears to be some kind of airlock and I'm a little bit concerned by that. Is there a boss up ahead? There's a lich. How did he not see me before? I'm actually very concerned for that lich's eyesight. Or I would be if he was still alive. He is, he's currently pushing up the daisies. I want that strong potion of healing. And that just takes back to Molida, huh? And hey, a boss chest. I guess it was worth going through the entire thing. I thought maybe there was something else associated with it. Was there? I see signs of life here that I didn't notice before. There's a couple, actually. That looks like a bear. I've been through here. Is he just in the wall? No, he's right there. How did I miss this guy? Oh, hang on. Mr. Bear, I require your life asses for the sole purpose of bringing me back up to snuff. I'm a huntless bear. There's a bear up there. Wait. Aha! Is the bear- Aha! Ha -ha! You fool! You've led me straight to your lair! Did I really never go up here? I guess not. Alright, uh, I'm looking for the exit, which is over... Yonderways. 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 All right. We're out. We've got a thing to deliver. Well done. You have much to learn about this business, my friend, but you show definite promise. But first, of course, you must hand over the carving. No, you cannot have the carving. Are you sure? I truly have no wish to harm you. It is the carving I want. Just business. Hand it over, and someday we will both laugh about this over drinks at the Tiber Septim. I will give you one last chance. Ah, uh, no. As you wish. Too bad. I was just getting to like you. Oh, gods. Oh, gods. Are you sure about that? My, uh... Has he got Disintegrate or something on there? Because it seems like the, uh... Oh, it's just, it's just out of charge. It's okay. To Shadowren, then. You were wearing, uh, Daedric armor. I thought this person was just wearing... Do you have another friend over there that's just not attacking? 
I was hoping they have a little bit, something more of a of note on them. Speaking of note, they had a note. Brigmore, set up camp out of sight and keep an eye out for strangers. Umbicano thinks to cheat us as usual, so we'll play it cautiously. Do not enter the ruins until I arrive. We, uh, we may not uh, need to risk our own necks. Merrick. Uh, P.S. Keep an eye for uh, Sarazir. He's acting even twitchier than usual. Maybe he's finally realized he isn't getting his uh, full cut. But I think he's good for one more job. And he's the best I could come up with on, sh on short notice. Hello! 275 Daedric arrows? I mean, here's the thing. I get the same amount from Ebony. And glass isn't even that good. I here's the thing. I'm just gonna. Oh my god, that puts me at full that, at full stock, huh? Yeah, I'm over encumbered. So what? Do you want to fight about it? There we go. There was another person. Maybe that was something one of them summoned. Oh wait, no, that's this person. They're wait. They're running away. I'm gonna catch him. I have to catch this guy. He's running back to tell on me. I can outrun a horse! That is phenomenal right there. Claude Merrick is fleeing. Do I kill him? I guess not. I guess I'll discover this alien ruin and then, uh, and then head back to, uh... to the other area. Up the Arby and Ogre. Alright, now do that. Oh, I guess I already had a soul gem in here. Mad God's Poker! Titan's Foot! Ooh. Titus foot chopper. I found Ando. Well, now I want to leave Ando. I've had enough of Ando. Oh, one of the people who was tasked with killing me. To the Talos Plaza district we go. Shan't be too difficult. So, say I. This this head better be good. What time is it? 5 a.m. And going in there would be a federal crime. Maybe not federal, but a crime nonetheless. Umbacano, umba, umbacano. I used to think you were a hero. A holy. No, shut up! Shall I? Sh yes, show me the umbacano. You came up to me just to tell me that, you ding dong. Ah, the treasure hunter. I must remove my hat as a sign of respect. Please, have a seat. I used to think you were a hero. Shut up, Claude Merrick. I believe a little friendly competition always sharpens the wits. Even more reason for you to get back to hunting for my carving. I have it. The high vein. Yes, you learned that it is the ruin now known as Malada. Were you able to recover the carving yet? Yes, here it is. Wonderful! You are indeed a treasure hunter of exceptional talents. Here is your reward, as promised. Normally, I would give you a chance to celebrate your success, but I do have another task for you, if you are interested. A rather urgent one. Well, well. I hope you don't blame me for the unpleasantness with Marvik. I have no control over the man. In any case, it all turned out well, didn't it? This, uh, this man is very much an ends justify the means kind of guy. This is not quite in your usual line of work, but I hope you can help me just the same. A rival collector has an item which I very much want to add to my collection, but she stubbornly refuses to consider any of my offers. Okay. She and I have had our differences over the years, I admit. Now she is taking this opportunity to get her revenge. 
I believe that you may be able to persuade her to part with the item, where I cannot due to her prejudice against me. Are you interested? Are you interested? Sure, I'll take the job. Very good. I hope you will succeed where I have so far failed. Tell me about this collector. Her name is Herminia Sinner. She lives here in the Imperial City, in the Elven Gardens district. She fancies herself a student of the Aeliads, although she sadly lacks any aesthetic instinct whatsoever. Be that as it may, she has come into possession of an ancient relic known as the Crown of the Aeliads. Your job is to acquire it for me. Here is more than enough gold to buy it at any reasonable price. You may keep whatever you do not use as your fee. Crown of the Aeliads. Reputedly the crown worn by the last king of the Aeliads. It deserves to be part of my collection. Last Aeliad king. Very little is known of him. Not even his name. He ruled the last Aeliad city in Cyrodiil during the First Era. Three centuries after the fall of White Gold Tower. Wow. Okay, bye. You too. And this time I will stand and not steal. Oh, why am I over encumbered? What did he give me? He gave me something. Well, that isn't good. I'll use a Welkin stone. To... And you know what? Here. Have some bear pelts. For the trouble I caused before. Wow, the full collection of amiibo, huh? I guess I could just go through his house and, and rummage, rampage even. There's his bedroom. I wish to learn more about your manor. Excuse me, a servant's quarters? A security increase yet again. Desk. The guide to Chainall appears to be some sort of storage. A wooden door, door to Umbacano Manor. I wonder if I could sneak up into here. Umbacano's attic. Nobody sees me and nobody knows. Nobody sees me and nobody knows. Merely an attic. Last king of the aliens. Interesting. Interesting book. A sweet cake. I have knocked over the sweet cake. He'll know I was up here. At any rate, let us head on down. Hello there. You used to think I was a hero. All right. Well, anyway. Uh. Twixt episodes, I definitely should go back to, uh, my hideout and just, uh, drop off my arrows and the like. Uh, I, I took off enough weight with the, uh, I don't know why I'm walking. I took off enough, enough weight with the, uh, with the, uh, my drop of the bear pelts to make it all well and good. All well and good. No. I believe there's somebody to talk to about Tiding citizen. What can I do for you? Oh, one second. I must take off my, uh, my, my crown. My, I'm sorry, my helmet. You too. What? Last alien king. The king of Nangalata is the last alien king known to history. True. He appears to have ruled for centuries past the fall of all the other alien kingdoms, if the ancient chronicles are to be believed. But there never was a single king of the aliens. Each city-state had its king, and their power waxed and waned over the years. The king of Nanalata was the last, simply because all the other kings had been destroyed or driven out of Cyrodiil. Crown of aliens. You want to buy my alien crown? It isn't for sale at any price. I would think Umbakana would know that by now. Uh... I'm not working for Umbakano. Save your breath. He's the only one who knows I have it. He's tried to get it from me for years. 
I will never allow the crown to fall into Umber Kano's hands. He is far more dangerous than you realize. Uh, Umber Kano is a harmless collector. Far from it. His interest in the aliens is not that of a mere scholar. He hopes to unlock the secrets of their magical power. And if you know anything about alien ruled Cyrodiil, that should make you very uneasy. How is the cr alien crown dangerous? I'm afraid I don't know for sure. I wish I had a more persuasive answer, but hear me out. The crown of the aliens which Umbakano wants is not simply an ancient work of art. It has certain superficial magic powers, true, but its real power is hidden. However, my studies of the ancient text make clear that it is the key to dangerous magical powers which should be left dormant. I promised to bring him the crown. Yes, I understand. He wants an alien crown, but does it have to be my alien crown? What if you brought him another crown? What do you mean, another crown? My own research into the late alien period suggests that there was not a single alien ruler, but many. They were a bitterly divided people, with many warlords vying against each other for power. Their ultimate demise was wrought by their own civil strife, at least as much as by the rebellion of their human slaves. So what about this other crown? My crown, the one Umbakano covets, belonged to the ruler of Nenalata. I've learned of another crown, entombed with the last ruler of the rival city of Lindai. Since Umbakano has never laid eyes on the real crown of the Aliens, I doubt he could tell the difference. In any case, the other is also a real alien crown, just not the right one. I think we could all sleep better if you brought him Lindai's crown instead of the crown of Nenalata. Here, I happen to have the key you'll need to enter the royal burial chamber in Lindai. I hope you'll make the right choice. Crown of the aliens. I hope you'll make the Lindai. The alien city of Lindai was a bitter rival to Nenalata, the city of the so-called last king of the aliens. Umbakano may not be able to tell the difference between the crown of Lindai and the crown of Nenalata. It's at least worth a try. I know I don't want to find out what terrible power Umbakano could unleash using the crown of Nenalata. Nenalata. Goodbye. This had better be good. I guess I'll... You know, I guess I'll just take them both. Because we have one crown, and we have two crown, and we have three crown, and we have four... Five crown, we have six crown, we have seven crown, and more. Oh, it's in the basement. Oh, there's a Welkin stone here. Did I break into our home for nothing? I was hoping to find the crown. Uh, a very hard chest, possibly containing the crown. Nope, a hand scythe and an inkwell. These chests are all very hard to get into, yet none of them have anything of import. Well, I'm in her house, so I might as well steal the crown. It must be in her bedroom. Aha! Crown of Nedalata. Fortify conjuration uh, and alteration. Reflect spell. I've retrieved the alien crown fr uh, from uh, Herminia Cena's house and now delivered to Umbacano. Let me see what that looks like on Krug. Actually, just kind of looks like an elven, uh, elven helmet, just different colored. Well, I'm gonna go get the other one as well. Having both crowns might do us some good. Oh, uh, hello, uh, hi, uh, hello, uh, hi. Uh, let's see. Secret of the aliens. 
There's a crown of Lindai. Uh, so, wants me to... What, gave me the key to the Royal Burial Vault in Lindai. Well, I actually do not know Sweet. where Lindai is, and I probably should have checked that portion of the map before I did all this. So, hey. Why don't I just go ahead and open up the... Open up a great old map. I probably, I think I've probably been to Lindai before. Good morning. Uh... uh According to this, it lies east of Coral. Ah, okay, it's still marked on the map. Excellent. Go to Glade Mist Cave and head to the southwest. Hopefully nothing wants to kill me out here. Southwest. Southeast is where I want to go if I want to end the world. Southwest is where I want to go if I want to grab the other crown. The secondary crown not the tertiary crown as there are only two so grabbing a tertiary crown would be would be would be uh just just silly could merely be silly silly in dead and like this voice i'm doing it'd be silly in dead What in here? They're upright. Oh, they're, they're the undead. What a silly skeleton. Something sees me and I don't know what. I don't see anything moving. <laughs> I don't know why I went to Star Wars. Something sees me. Oh, it is probably that. Ooh, there's, a lot. there's a lot of you out here. There you are. What with your head missing and whatnot. You think you would learn your lesson. Oh! Someone is coming. Are you a skeleton? Yeah. You're a skelly boy, all right. Oh, you're a, you're merely you're merely a guardian. I'm gonna ax you politely. And then stop axing once you are the dead. I have no idea where any of these things are that want to kill me, though I guess progressing through here would be the best way to go about it. Hello? Wouldst thou like me dead? Wouldst thou like Krog dead? You know, they say a living Krog is a better Krog. I'm gonna take your soul. Only got 30 seconds on this spell now. I have done it. The man be humping. All right, uh... Why don't I go ahead and start casting me some lovely healing magics? Oh, isn't that just lovely? Just lovely indeed. All right, we move on. We got a lot of spiky floors here. I do see some more casks. Don't necessarily need the nightshade. Oh, you saw me, huh? 
You as a champion, you must understand why I do this. Well, the other one appears to have lost me. Oh, it's just behind a door. There is a butin around here somewhere. Don't worry, I'm going to get you out of there! And the delicious, delicious treasure that you hide. Well, there appear to be two of them. I'm having a bit of trouble finding the button. I'm also rather hungry right now. I went into this without having eaten Brefkus, and uh, my uh, my hunger stat is at an all-time low. I've seen of sorcery. There's also uh, there's an entire other area I haven't been to. I guess so. Because there's that. Which way am I facing? It's just near the entr. Wait, wait. Inner tombs. Oh, that's like that's an exit only area. Okay. That's probably where that thing is. Where is? Ha! Nice try. Up. Ah! Well, they tried pretty well then. Uh. Well, dang. There's got to be some way to open these doors. Aha! Hello, friend. I'm gonna take your soul. We're gonna take just enough of your soul now. Ring of Thieves. Fortify sneak, security, and uh, detect life. Not great. Oh, man. Well, this isn't what I wanted at all. Last gauntlets, mort flesh. Somebody was keeping zombie matter in a chest. The inner tombs shall reveal to me what I need. What I so richly desire. I am going to use a Welkin stone. I went to third person for some reason and I don't know why. Oh, that didn't work on him. That did though. Give me your soul now! Well, now you guys are just being mean. Why would you do such a thing to me? Me of all people. Your friendly neighborhood pal. Alright. Sir, you're terribly good at blocking. There we go, and I kidnapped your soul just from that. I got your bone meal as well. All the meals of all the bones. Oh. There we go. A soul has been captured. Uh, the the car stone that Herminia Xina gave you fits seamlessly in the hole in the door. A big hall. The rather scary one at that. Oh, you saw me, huh? Well, I'm not leaving here until I get your soul. Ow! Ooh! That dealt a considerable amount of consistent damage to me. Wow, your soul belongs in a thing. Alien cast the alien crown of Lindai. Fortify alteration and illusion and resist magic. And the alien crown of Lindai, just as Her uh, Herminia Sinna said. Now to return to Umbakano to complete my task. Umbakano, umba, umbakano. Umbakano, umba, umbakano. Umbakano, umba, umbakano. Oh my god, that's where you were before, yeah. <laughs> There we go. With some well-placed hackery. Hackery and smashery. 
I was able to do what I needed to do. I require to go this way and then through the blade. I should. Ah, uh, risks! Haha! -ha! Calculated risks! The risks of calculations and whatnot. Ooh. Well, with all of that said and done, I leave here a, a stronger, a stronger man. With a crown as well. I am royalty. So I'm a thinking that next time in the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, let's say we give back one of the crowns to our dear contributor. The one who needs the crown in order to succeed in taking over the world. It is thunder and lightning out. I wonder if there's anything that's weather, it's gonna be weather based. This. I feel like there was once before, but eh, whatever. As I continuously cure, carefully crafting my carapace of curing. I will see you all in the next episode as I climb up top this rock. See you all then, later.